Hey, I heard the apostles use an example of uh, what, what movie is that? Braveheart. How there was a w one guy in the movie, you know, and everybody looked at him, they thought good about him, and he turned out to be a traitor. But then there was the other guy in the movie who everybody was looking at him like, man, look at this motherfucker, you know? And, you know, he was wild, you know, would come in, stick his hand in the food and just, you know, eat it. No, you and everybody's looking at him like he's backwards, you know? A brother's going to come in different kind of, you know, ways, and a brother might rub you the wrong way. But you, but you got to forgive that brother. You can't bear a grudge against him. You can't be angry at him. A brother might say something you don't like, you know, but the scripture says, let not the sun go down upon thy wrath. You're supposed to go to that brother and make amends with him, you know? You know, and don't let it carry on for a year and a year and, and carry on. Guys like that be the ones that, that, uh, that fall out. And the reason why they hold on to that anger is because they have pride issues. And the most high don't deal with pride. You know, so you should be praying for a lot of things during this day of atonement. You should be praying for mercy. You should be praying for forgiveness. You should be praying for the most high to uh, add to you those things that you're lacking in this truth. To You know, that's uh, stopping you from being on fire. You should pray for a fervent spirit. But all the while, while you're praying for those things, you should also make sure that you're being merciful. You should make sure that you're being humble. Right. You know? God, that's, yeah, yeah, that's, that's something we can, uh, you know, end off on right there. Cause you, you gave a good point. You got more on that? Uh, no, I'm over in uh, Romans, the 12th chapter. Go ahead, yeah, read the, read this Romans is Romans 12, 12 cause we, we have to present our bodies a living sacrifice. You know, Yahu yeah, Yahweh is the atonement, but we also have to present our bodies as a living sacrifice, you know? And this is uh, Romans 12 and 1. It says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the, by the mercies of the Most High, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. And do you just do that on the Day of Atonement? No, you do it, you do it all the time, man. You know? And uh, another thing also... Uh, okay, I'll let you grab that up. Oh, no, I'll still wait. Okay, kind of. I don't know where to start at. Be because uh, another thing also, there's, there's a few scriptures on it. Uh, one is Leviticus 4, 4 and 2. Now, now, don't be of a proud spirit, you know, uh, saying that, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm righteous. You know, I haven't done anything wrong all year. You know, that I'm, that I'm all good, you know. I, I, don't, I, don't need to, I don't need to atone for my sins. I don't need to afflict myself, you know. Hey, the scripture says that there's no living person that, that's upon the earth that's, that's living. That have not sinned. It says that we have all sinned and came short of the glory of the Most High, man. And you, you don't even realize that you sin in ignorance and don't even know that you sin. You could have done something and you don't even know that you did it. But the Most High had mercy upon you, man. Mm -hmm. And the Most High will continue to have mercy upon you because you're afflicting yourself during this day of atonement. Yeah, you're giving us grace, man. This is Leviticus 4 and 2. It says, speaking to the children of Israel, saying, if a soul shall sin through ignorance against any of, of the commandments of Yahweh concerning things which ought not to be done and shall do any against them. So we, that we can sin in ignorance. And uh, another verse is uh, Psalms 19 and 12. It says, Who can understand his errors? Cleanse thou me from secret faults. Yep. You know, you, you sin and you've done things and, and you don't even know it. You, a woman was walking down the street and you're like, man, damn, you know, she got a fat ass, and I would love to, I would love to pop that, man. But, but, but she got a husband at home, and you didn't even realize it. That happened more, more so than often. And you don't even realize that, that you've done that, you know? And then there's other, there's other things that you can, can have done to sin. You know, what about that, that, that moment when you've doubted Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man? That's major. That's a, that's a sin right there, you know? Because cause hey, Satan comes in, and he, and he tempts brothers in, in that regard. And, and make that spirit of doubt comes in, in, into brothers, you know? And you're, that's, that's taking the Lord's name in, in vain, man. Right. You know? It says... Uh, Hold on. Right, let me speak. It's cause speaking on that, the, what the brother's saying, if, if you ask your how about Shemiah Shai for something, and you doubt him. And you doubt. Yep. You doubt. That's sin. That's sin, man. You, you cannot... You, you, you got to say it like we say... You said said it and forget it. You gotta set your prayer up, say it and forget it, and just know that the Most High is gonna do what He say He gonna do. That's right. You know that's it. That's lock that in. 
if we anybody could do, because we get a test things that happen to us, and we prayed and, and we kept the faith on it, and stop. You can't keep repraying about something. That's mean you ain't. That mean you don't believe. That's you right. know what I mean? You got to say it. Say it in, in, in sincerity. Unless you're asking for mercy. Exactly. Go <laughs> constantly. So yeah. You got to yeah. constantly ask for mercy. And, that, you know, you, you got to say prayer. Pray for that. But when you need these things to be done, Yahusha, they already know. You know, they see what's happening. They know what's happening. They, they you know, but mercy, you know, we, yeah, we, 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 we going to always have to keep praying for mercy. You know, I, that's like every time you think of something off. You, you gotta, you better rebuke that spirit. You know, have mercy on me. For, you know, y'all about shit on side. It, it make it. It's, it gotta be a habit. You know, pray constantly. You know, because in this day of atonement, we're trying to atone for the sins that we did in the previous time. So you know, we got the um, the ones that we know about and yep. the ones that we don't and know. Secret about. faults. Yep. And then uh, when you, when you read the rest of Psalms, uh, if I go to the 13th verse, it's gonna, it's gonna. Uh, David's going to ask the Lord to keep back that servant from presumptuous sins. Because there's sins that you sinned and you premeditated upon them before you did it, man. But because we're in this flesh, uh, uh, Baba Kashai, can, can I, uh, can you grab uh, uh, mm -hmm. Romans, the seventh chapter? It's like mm -hmm. middle, close towards the end, where, where uh, Paul, Paul said, you know, that which I would not do, I do. You know, you were saying that I do it because of this flesh. And we're still in the flesh, man. So this flesh is going to have certain desires. And you know, there's brothers that sin, and they know that they sin because they thought upon it before they sin. You know, that's the reason why Yahweh said, that which proceeded from the inside of a man defiles a man. You know? Because all of the sins start from on the inside. You have to think about them before doing them. You know, so you think about them, then you act upon them. I believe that's in the book of uh, James where it says that uh, uh, sin, once it, once it conceived, brings forth death. You know, it says that a man is drawn away by temptation. And, and when he is tempted, you know, that, um, that, that he sinned. And when he sinned, that sin brings forth death. So this is uh, uh, Psalms 19 and 13. It says, keep back that servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then shall I be upright, and I shall be innocent in the great uh, from the great transgression. You know, and the transgression is, is, is constantly going off. Constantly keep doing the same sin, you know, before the Most High Heavenly Father, you know. You know, it's when, you're, when, you're, when your sins are multiplied, you know, you don't want to let your sins multiply the transgressions. Because when, you, when you're transgression, Most High don't want to deal with you anymore, man. Um, I got a... This is a. Uh, start the 14th verse. So this is a uh, Romans 7 and 14. For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal, so under sin. Kind of so you you're so under sin, so you can't keep the law perfectly. So you're gonna offend at one point. We don't have those new hearts yet. We don't have that Ezekiel 32 and 26 yet, man. So at one point you're gonna offend. You're gonna sin. You know, because according to uh, 1 John 3 and 4, sin is the transgression of the law. Got it. Uh, it says, but I am carnal, so under sin. For, verse 15, for that which I do, I allow not. And for what I would that do, for what I would that do, so look at it, those that, for what and I this, would do, <laughs> for what I would that do, I do not, you so, know what I mean. So like, but so what like, I hate that I do, that do I. So like, so I, I always, I always trip up when I read, when I read that. But hey, that can be looked at as, as a brother right. trying to keep the law. That's right. That's right. That's God. how you go off when you try to keep the law. God, let me just get for the talk. You, this, this, you the trip Satan, up like that, this man. This is uh, verse fifteen. It says, "For that which I do, I I allow not. For what I would, that do I not. But." What I hate, that do I. You know, so Yeah, so we hate those things that pertain to the yeah. carnal, man. And we, we, we desire and we lust to do those things that are spiritual. But but we, we can't always do it the way that we want to because we're in the flesh. That flesh is preventing us. So you're going to sin at some point, man. So we need uh, this, this, this day of atonement. You know, because the Most High, the, the heavens is open right now. The Most High is receiving prayers. It tells you that uh, in uh, John, isn't that John the ninth chapter where it says the Most High hear not sinners, you know, 
the, the Most High don't hear sinners, okay. but because of Yahweh Shai, we're praying it to Yahweh Shai, hey, the, the heavens is open right now, and the Most High is hearing us. But but you don't just afflict yourself on the Day of Atonement. Yeah, today is a fast, you know? But but you're supposed to, uh, you know, suffer and afflict yourself every day, though, you know? Kind of gets crucified. Not saying that you have to flat, fast every day and not, not eat, but... Afflict yourself in some kind of way, some form of fashion. Yeah, because one of the Pharisees was like, he said, I, uh, I'm, I'm a man, basically, he said, I, 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 I Oh, that was a, that was a parable yeah, of Yahweh yeah, Shai, yeah. He said, yeah, he said, he, I, I, uh, he said, what if, he said, I, I fast. I'm going to get it for you. God, he said, I fast every week, and I do this, and I, I do that. He was worse than, <laughs> he was worse than a <laughs> nigga. Yeah, you got to do all of that shit, because right. you know your ass <laughs> fucking up, That's you right. know? <laughs> This is Galatians 5 and 17. For the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh, and these are contrary the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things which ye would. So you fighting. Uh, it's a daily fight to go in, uh, in the spirit. and you got to be in the spirit every day, but it's a daily fight when you're in the spirit. Because the Satan is sending these 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 pings and pangs in your brain and, 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 and to do this or check this man's woman out or even when he would or, or, or um, you know, cause, you know, it's, 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 it's the way that we deal with this world. This world is, it's just filthy. Mm -hmm. It's just a big cold, cloud of, uh, of, of, of hell, of, 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 uh, of wicked, wickedness, man. And, 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 and it's like you, you try to, to avoid it in your mind. You know it's wrong. You know it's, you know it's, or, or. You you just happen to glance, or you think of some wicked things, or you might think of something against a brother, and you you know you're like, wait a minute, you better you better pray pray. That's why we 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 advise all brothers, even the people just just watch to the the apostles that ain't got into having the camp. You need to be out there getting the camp, but if you follow the apostles to and the apostles in the doctrine that you tonight today start a fast from night to night, so when it gets to dark. Tonight it gets dark. And ask for that spirit to come upon you so to, you can do it. Come there you on. go. Beautiful. To, to ask for that spirit. And, and to pray, be humble, and ask for you forgive to, for mercy continuously, man. You know, and, and get in the scriptures as you as you sit there. Try to be alone if you can. If you can't, hey, you just get alone in the house. You know right. what I mean? And the scriptures it says that it's a holy convocation. So really, you know, you should be gathering up with as many brothers as you uh -huh. can because it's... It's easier to, in, a, even though you're afflicting yourselves, it's easier to endure, you know, and to not fall into temptation when you're around. I can. Kind. Kind. And then, you, you know, if you, if you can't, if you got to be away, just, if you can't make it, just make sure you keep that prayer. You keep praying without ceasing, kind. man. Keep it. Get away from them niggas. Get away from them niggas. Yeah. Get that vibe away. <laughs> get that, what it's called, vibes. Get them bad vibes away, you know, because you, you can. Be watching TV. There's thoughts going in your head. Stay off that television, man. Keep, keep, keep it. Keep that pleasure, your pleasure away. You gotta afflict your soul. Kind of, yeah. It's, it's, it'll be all right if I just watch a little bit of war start hip hop. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If I watch a chick twerk, you right. know it ain't like I'm touching her. Right. You know it'll, it'll be okay if I if I just rub my woman's pussy. You know I ain't right. I ain't trying to go up in her right. like that. And, no, man. Get your ass, you know, you know, go afflict your soul, man. Right. Go and pray, man. Yeah, that woman, and that might, woman might even not even respect the fact of what you're doing. And try to come, you told her already. Look, this is the, oh, and then what, putting their hands around you and shit. You, you gotta. Trying to, trying to get, get you while you sleep. Right. Now, you know what I mean by get you. Right. You know. Oh, even that little kid, I don't want to, you ain't kiss from my, my, the, the woman I, I deal with. You know, I don't want to be around that, that situation, man. If you don't, you know, if, if a woman ain't respecting you, say, hey, look, the, the scriptures say you can still dwell with a woman I don't believe, but still, you know, today, just try to give her 30 feet, you know <laughs> what I mean? Give her 30, karate kick that bitch if you got to, no, abortion. Just do what you have to do to, to stay in the spirit, you know. This is a spiritual night, like the, the, the eclipse. Everything that happened after that eclipse, man. Watch what else happened. Kinda. North Korea is shooting rockets on no, <laughs> missiles Japan. on <laughs> Japan. <laughs> the most high is bringing up this. Why? He, he, what did Japan <laughs> do with this shit, man? The most high is, is making that Yu Jong Un whatever to, to 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 muster up some some. He got some cojones, and that was the most high putting in his ball. I mean, putting putting ball, putting in his brain. That hey, look. 
It's gonna be something that's gonna spark this thing, man. It's it's coming soon. It's dude, this dude just shooting missiles over countries, bro. And he and he daring motherfuckers to do something, man. That's a big dare. That's why Russia about to get into this, man. I got that parable. Go ahead, I. Uh, this is Luke eighteen and ten. Two men went up into the temple to pray. The one a Pharisee and the other a publican. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself. The most high, I thank thee that I am not as other men are, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, and even as the publican. Mm -hmm. I fast twice in the in the week. Mm -hmm. I give tithes of all that I possess. And the publican standing afar off will not uh, lift up so much his, his eyes unto heaven, but smote his breast, saying, The most high be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you. This man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For every one that exalteth himself shall be abased, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. Right. You, you talk about I. I. And then you guys that, that's, that's thinking the name, you call yourself, you said in the highest show or higher, you're saying I, I exist. You're not giving the, the praise that he exists. Mm -hmm. Meaning he, you, 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 you're, actually, uh, you're actually glorifying him and not yourself when you say, he exists, Yahweh, Yahweh, instead of saying, I exist, meaning, I, 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 higher, sure, higher. You're saying, you, you're saying, talking about yourself in that term, you can't call them that. So, the, the Pharisees in this was just proud. You know, what pride comes, what comes with instruction, pride. Pride, okay. man, you know, he was just basically like, I didn't do this, I didn't do that, but the, 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 the uh, publican knew that he, that he sinned. He sinned. Yeah. That he didn't realize he sinned. It didn't say all come short. He still ain't. We missed that scripture. I give money to. I give tithes. I give to the poor. I uh, I, I I fast two days. I'm holier. I'm than holier than thou. And that's what these niggas in these churches is. These goddamn of uh, these damn. They matter. They Pharisees, man. Hey, uh, let me add to it. Uh, if you read in Job thirty one, because uh, Yah Yahweh rebuked Job, but. You read in Job 31, he basically was, you know, like boasting, you know, about all the stuff Job was doing. He was basically saying, you know, uh, have I ever, you know, uh, not looked after the fatherless? Have I not did this? So he was basically, you know, talking about all the good stuff he did. And then it got to the point where the Most High said, gird up now thy loins. I will, this day I will demand of thee. And he mm -hmm. started asking him questions like, where was you at, Job? Where was you at when you did it? Since you telling me, you know, what I should and should not be doing. And, you know, Job, I was like, you know, I'm vile. You know, because he was, you know, basically making arguments for his own righteousness as if he's saved by, you know, his own, you know, righteousness as opposed to, you know, the grace that the Most High gives us. You know, God. it's not, you know, you can't go back and say, I did this, I did that, you know, uh, one time I did this. You know, you can't just, just add up. You know, it's good. You know, the scripture says, you know, uh, uh. Uh, what is cover uh, charity covers a multitude, a multitude of sins? Of sins. Charity, yeah. charity cover a multitude of sins, but that don't mean it's gonna cover all of them to the point where you just can do whatever the fuck you want to do and go like you know. Remember that time I did this and I did that time. You know you you before before you come for your house, you're not gonna be able to say, hey, look, you know, look at all this stuff I did. Now, I, I deserve a seat, you know, in this motherfucker. You know, it's through the you know the Most High's grace. You know, because all that shit could be counted as fucking nothing. Do, do you know what I tell where it says that uh, his righteousness shall not uh, save him, deliver him in that day. I think I know what you're talking about. Kind. Because, uh, you know, hey, that, the scripture says that we're, we're justified by faith and not by the works of the law. Well, first of all, if we're part of the elect, we were already preordained and predestined before the foundation of the world. Hey, but the Most High, is, is, he's dealing with his elect. It tells you in the Ecclesiastes, I want to say 1 and 14, it says that the fear of the Lord is created with the faithfulness and faithful in the womb. You know, so... You know, it was already set up for them to believe, man. So it's through your faith. It's not through your works because it's through faith that you establish the law. It's through faith that you keep the commandments of the Most High Heavenly Father. It's through faith that you do the things that the, that the Most High is pleased with for you to be saved. You know? So you're going to be saved through your faith. Through, through faith, we're keeping the, the Day of Atonement, man. Through faith, we, we rehearse the righteous acts. You know, like it says in Judges 5 and 11. We, rehear we are rehearsing the righteous acts, man. And we're doing all this through faith. It's through faith that we believe that we're the Israelites, man. All of this is done by faith. And, and 
through our faith that we have, it proves that we are the Israelites because the scripture says that the just shall live by faith. You know, the so-called white man ain't living by faith, man. Look at his actions and his deeds in the world. You know? Damn. It might be in 18... 18 of... Uh, Ezekiel. All right. Um, right. And through this whole thing, yeah, how... What are you looking for? Yeah, how about she um, was, besides, um, I think it was some he didn't, he only asked for he us to worship him in truth. And, yeah, and we, you know, and that's all, just, you know, all, that's what all, actually, that's all how we require of you, to worship him in truth and sincerity. And, you know, just keep your faith. Faith is what, faith is basically saying, you know, I believe and I trust and I got confidence in my power. That he said he's gonna do what he's gonna do, you know, and we gonna make sure uh, it do us, it make you know we it, let's just make sure through the heart, your heart is 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 focused on him, and that's what the elect always from the womb, was always. Uh, Verse thirty three and twelve. Focus on the Most High, the Spirit. Ezekiel thirty three and twelve. So you got a man that was off, but you still got men that was. Always at birth, as little kids, always thinking about the Lord, never always pondering on them. Oh, the, the young men that came up to camp this Con, Hey, we had this Con. weekend, beautiful, beautiful. We had young men come up to the camp this weekend who was more knowledgeable than the simple grown man. Old. 14 years old, and he had a little brother that was damn near this, was, was right there with him. And they were saying things that I know a lot of men don't even, could even bring out. You know, they were just basically inquiring. You know, and it was attentive. And if we say it's like, you know, you're going to have to hold on, the other one would check the other one. Like, yeah, man, listen. You know, that was the spirit on the Hey, that might be a part of the elect. And, you know, you might look. Some people might look at these little kids and walk, these little dirty-ass little kids came up here. No, they had the spirit, man. That's how they That's how they looked at the apostles. You know, the apostles and the brothers that was around them. Oh, they look at them. Their garments not, they don't have any diamonds or rubies on their garments. Or, oh, when they, that's how they looked at Jeremiah. Yeah, kind. They, they didn't have nothing to Jeremiah. He was young. Yeah, young boy. Hey, you know, and we, we walking around with these sackcloths. So somebody called me up and said, yeah, man, uh, I saw you out there this weekend. What was you doing? What you was protesting? I'm like, <laughs> I'm protesting. I, I mean, I don't even you get to talk. You should have said minimal wage. Minimal wage, right. <laughs> 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 what y'all were protesting? <laughs> you know, and, and this is a close friend of mine. I mean, like a close family friend. Not mine, but just a close family friend. They're going to be like, like, oh, yeah, that's right, brother. I'm with you. Boy. Right, yeah, right. <laughs> but I'm with you. I'm protesting. Like, I'm, I'm protesting. Smart. I'm protesting this, this, damn, this damn world. I don't get into speaking on what I do. It's, it, it, come out there. You should, If you saw me, you should have stood out there. No, kind, but they don't care. They don't you care. Know? People don't. They, they, and they, that's the same one that's not going to afflict their soul. You know, exactly. and he's gonna think that you're strange because you know he might call you up like, man, and you want you want to come over and rewatch the Floyd Mayweather fight, right? Right. You know? yeah, it's these Negro lights, man. So you know this Negro lights, Negro lights. Yeah. yeah it's, <laughs> it's the, hey, look, it's, it's 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 none of your business. You didn't come out there, push up. You know, okay. what you got? Who got? Who got? Uh, I I got a few of them, okay. and then I got two more. Okay. Okay. Thirty three. And verse 12, uh, Ezekiel 33, verse 12, Therefore, thou son of man, say unto the children of thy people, The righteousness of the righteousness shall not deliver him in the day of his transgression. As for the wickedness of the wicked, he shall not fall thereof by in the day that he turneth from his wickedness. Neither shall the righteous be able to live for his righteousness in the day that he sinneth. Right. So you're not going to be able to, you know, rely, count on, you know, your own righteousness. You know, kind of like, there are people like, you know what, uh, even if I don't know, even if I don't believe in God, you know, he knows my heart. You know, it, it's through the most high. If he decides to say, you know what. He says, I, I'll have mercy upon whom I shall have mercy upon. Right. And, you know, we, we, can't, <laughs> we, we can't even save ourselves. That's right. You know, yes. I, I, just like the, the apostles said, you know, that when they, they made a statement that, you know, we can't save you. And they said, we can't even save ourselves. You know, and that's it's the, through, literally through the most high, 
you know, and, you know, we got the best tools, you know, uh, uh, there are out, you know, as opposed to, you know, any other churches. But at the end of the day, who, who you, the, like, the, like the, when we was in Chicago, they said, you know, you could be uh, getting beamed up halfway. Then all of a sudden, they were like, you know what? Matter of fact, hey, 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 hey check that scroll. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, you did what? No, what is that back down there? <laughs> that was the one next to it. What? <laughs> right. uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> That would be so horrible, man. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. It, it's, hey, we have fun in this. <laughs> it ain't nothing. It's just to beat you for crying, man. Kind of. No, in this thing. But, hey. Uh, kind of, the scripture says. Uh, <laughs> I, got, I got one. This is uh, Philippians 2 and 12. It says, Work for my brethren as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only. But now, much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. I don't got this garment on for no reason. I, I got this garment. I, I'm not uh, just, uh, hope. I'm not praying to the Most High for no reason. I, I'm not. I'm not trying to be, and I'm not trying to have no vain. Uh, uh, trying to get vain glory. I'm trying. I'm trying to make it. Okay, I'm trying to get delivered. Trying to get delivered from this hell that's about to come. We're living in hell, but with the hell fire that the Most High is going to send, hey, the martial law is going to be already hell. What you're going to have to, you know, you're going to have to evade uh, troops and be might be cold, or you might have a, the Most High might give us a nice place for a minute. <laughs> Keep you that comfortable all the time oh, in this thing, man. You know, if you if he if he deems if he feels not, keep you going. Hey, you 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 can't be comfortable, and you won't be comfortable in this truth. You know, because he, he, it's always it's always something that happens. We're still under the curses. It's, so, hey, when the troops come, when these troops come, and they and, and your, your 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 woman rat you out, put you rat you out. That's all through the Most High. Hey, you're gonna have to run. You know, or, or, or the Most High gonna have you somewhere safe. It's either up to the Most High. You know, and man, man, man would like now. I know they they're robbing they they so called looting in um in uh down there in uh Houston Houston. Okay. So you, they worried about people looting. Man, what y'all these they bringing all these thugs and looting stores and stuff like this. So what? It's probably wet any damn way. Okay. And, you know? What they gonna do with these you know, niggas take anything, they gonna try to put niggas will it'll be water, underwater, nigga take a television and try to still plug it up, see if it works. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like idiots, man. Uh, we don't know why they st they stealing it for for to to, to store it for another time. You know, and, and, you ain't got another time. You ain't got they, that's what they doing, and that's what they holding on to to have faith that this world gonna keep going on because they don't see nothing change. They don't understand the eclipse. Two thirds don't understand what happened. That is a major sign that their things about to come. Down on this place. Hosea four and six. And you know, and, and Lord willing, we kind. And Lord willing, they, Lord willing, we don't be here when the next one come to ask this place out. But Lord willing, hey, if he if he deem fit, we we just feel like yeah, I don't. If he seem fit, that's what he does. But we praying to get out of here every day. You know, like we got a brother.